All right, folks, welcome back to Three Pound Fishing. I'm Matt, your host, and I'll tell you what, we're going to put some big fish in the boat today. It is summer crappie fishing at its finest, and I'll tell you what, it just doesn't get any better. So if you are interested in guide trips, don't hesitate. Give me a holler at threepoundfishing at gmail.com. But folks, we're going to put big summer slabs in the boat during this. All episode. right. Check out that bad dog. That is a big fish right there. It's a beautiful fish. We're going to let him go today. It's the name of the game today, so... Uh, Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. Let's put some fish in the boat. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Well, folks, if you haven't heard, the Three Pound Fishing Rods are back in stock at OzarkRod.com. Check them out. Man, I'm telling you right now, I am crushing it with my 10 footer and the 13 footer. Those are just happen to be my favorite sizes. But uh, give them a holler, give them a try. You're not going to be disappointed whatsoever. They are fantastic rods. Look at that tank. That is a big fish. 14 inch or baby. Nice and beautiful right there, man. That's a great summer slab. Got to get out there. Appreciate the summertime fishing because it is the most consistent fishing, in my opinion. Every pile we catch a couple fish and we move on. And uh, that is just a great slab. Presentation's everything in the summer, though. There's no doubt about it. Sometimes you got to size down, you got to figure it out. That is a big fish. Good fish. Letting it run a little bit. Oh man, good fish. Oh gosh, dang, that's so fun. You gotta love it. Hair jigs are on fire. That's right, folks. I'm jumping back and forth between hair jigs and plastics every outing. It doesn't matter. And uh, definitely changing that profile and that water displacement is definitely affecting the bite for me, helping me out. I'm figuring it out. Every pile is almost different, it seems like. So that's one of the strategies I'm using definitely during the summer crappie fishing. All right. Dandy fish. Dandy fish. Check out those smoked pickles. They're awesome. That is a great fish. Now, so what I did there was I changed baits, right? And to me, it's not only about profile, it's also about the water displacement. You can check out my hair jigs at 3 Pound Fishing at you know, 3poundfishing.com. There's a lot of varieties there. Um, and that's what I'm using. What I always use. We've got an overcast day. Water temperature is 81 degrees. So we are starting to get up there in terms of water temperature. The, uh, Not been the easiest bite, I'll tell you that. But good quality fish. So we keep missing it there. We're gonna push it right here. There's a good drop. And that should come right over the top of it. Now I pointed this out, it's one of my, I won't say it's a secret folks, but at the end of the day, if you want to catch more fish, I think you really do need to cast at it. And keeping those fish out there at roughly around 30 to 40 feet is ideal. It's, you know, it's something you have to spend some time on the water to kind of get pinpoint accuracy with it, but you can. And I do it every day with my 10 footer or even my 12 footer for that matter. But uh, casting definitely puts more fish in the boat in the summertime. There we go. Look at turn it on, man. Check this guy out. Great fish. Is 
just a slow retrieval, casting out there about 30 feet, letting it drop all the way down there, and just a slow retrieval. That's what you gotta do, it's unbelievable. Big. And it's weird because it's not a, it, I mean, honestly, it's, I don't know if it's a morning bite at all. I mean, I'm having less success in the morning than I am about, you know, right now it's roughly around nine o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock and, and uh, give them a little time to wake up. It almost seems like, I mean, I don't know if there's any merit to that, but man, I've been through quite a few baits today, changing it up. And all of a sudden we've got a live well that's got, gotten nice and started, but we're just taking pictures. We're just taking pictures. Um, I don't keep fishing unless we're gonna do a fish fry. Next event for uh, three pound fishing is gonna be the uh, Crappie Master Championship in Darbone. We are looking forward to that. That's in September. Another beautiful fish. Good night. Got some really cool things coming up in the future. Uh, this boat will be for sale um, at the end of the summer. So uh, if you have an interest, you can comment below or private message me. You can send me an email, 3 fishing at gmail.com. I'm not quite sure if I'll be selling it with or without the electronics. Um, that's kind of to be determined, um, but I do believe it will come with the Ultrax for sure. For sure, the the, the 10 inch Helix. So I guess actually all, everything will be probably coming with the boat except for the live scope. Possibly, it just depends what the availability of live scope systems are at that time. But regardless, if you're interested, you know, send me an email, and then I'll just keep a list, and then when when that time comes, I'll reach out been a great boat. Great fish, man. Air jigs at it again. Ugh. God dang. <laughs> Did he take that hard? Hey folks, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Kind of a shorter episode today, you know, uh, just enjoying the summer and uh, looking forward to getting back out there on the trail in the fall. But all summer, our guide trips, we're going to be putting big fatties in the boat. So if you're interested, give me a holler. That is just a, that's just a fantastic fish is what that is. Gosh dang. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.